So today we're gonna do some wiring and we're gonna put the marker lights on the corners of the trailer. And in the tongue box, we're gonna wire a connector that goes to the trailer power. And then we're gonna wire the lights for the marker lights, the brake light, and the license plate light. We'll install the brake light and the license plate light once we have a back door. All right, this is what the wiring junction box looks like under the trailer that comes from the vehicle. So the first thing we're gonna do is mount this connector up here. So we gotta drill a hole. And then we're gonna run the wires and connect them up. That way we can just unplug the top of the trailer from the bottom of the trailer if we need to. All right, here's the wiring all finished. Turns out I had the power and ground switched. So this will run the stoplight, the run and the running lights, and instead of using the white wire as a ground, I'm using it for the 12 volt power that hook to the refrigerators and such. All right, so the lights are gonna mount in the top corners. We have red ones in the back, yellow ones in the front. And about two by three and a half inches to the center. All right, the lights are all wired up. You can see where it comes up into the tongue box and then goes into the trailer. This white, white wire is the 12 volts that'll uh, charge my battery. Got the markers on the front and the back. And if you come around the back side, you see the brake lights. I temporarily installed the third brake light. I also temporarily installed the license plate holder. It'll be on the door in the final wiring. And you can run this side. Got marker lights over here as well.
So the next step is going to be putting in the mud flaps and then I'm going to try to get this thing registered.